I'm Cole Dysroth, a first year medical student in the MD-PhD program of Baylor College of Medicine. I completed my undergraduate studies in computer science at Stanford, which was where I worked with Dr. Gil Bejarano on developing computational tools for genetic disease diagnosis. This included ClinFen, a very fast and highly accurate algorithm for extracting disease phenotypes from medical records. My primary research interest is in developing computational tools that can help diagnose unfamiliar neurological disorders, identify genotype phenotype relationships, and find promising therapeutics. So this project focuses on 10Q26 deletion syndrome and hypotonia, ataxia, and delayed development syndrome, or HADS. These disorders are both caused by impaired function of the early B cell factor 3 or EBF3 gene. Many investigators have worked together to determine the phenotypic spectrum, but two questions remain unanswered. One, can you effectively diagnose someone who has not had genetic testing for EBF3? And two, if someone has been diagnosed, can the specific genotype help predict outcomes and comorbidities and help families prepare for the future? So our goal is to answer both of those questions. For the first one, we're developing a diagnostic tool that is designed to identify HADS cases from a large population using the phenotypic information available in their medical records. And for the second question, our goal is to determine vulnerable locations on the EBF3 gene that are associated with a uh, risk of increased clinical severity. So 10Q26 deletion syndrome and HADS are associated with many features that are common across neurodevelopmental disorders, including autism, loss of pain sensation, and ataxia. EBF3 encodes a transcription factor that has a role in many key developmental pathways and both in and beyond the nervous system. If we know what variants cause a milder phenotype or maybe a more severe one, then we might be able to provide better prognostics and uncover the protein's role in different neurobiological pathways and in other disorders. So in the immediate future, I will be completing this and other research projects during my second year of medical school. And then I'll join BCM's graduate school for the PhD portion of the program. Then I will return to finish my final two years of medical school and then start residency where I hope to develop clinical expertise at the intersection of genetics and childhood neurological disease. At the end of residency, I will pursue postdoctoral research and continue working to improve tools that can help us understand and treat these diseases.